Good morning, y'all. Hey, <laughs> let me get straight to it. Have you heard about the esoteric secrets of the 48 laws of power? I want you to meditate on this question. <laughs> Have you been told, informed, advised, or guided about the esoteric secrets of the 48 laws of power? This 15 moves ahead coming to you with another video. You see, if you go to my Patreon, you have to join the Patreon to get this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Because I received a comment, right? Someone asked me, they said, you know, what qualifies you to, you know, offer consultations and what makes you, you know, qualified as if I needed a resume or something to hop on YouTube and talk about this knowledge that I've been gaining and disseminating based on years of study. Okay, here you go. When you become a part of my Patreon, not only do you get this type of content, but you also get me going live. I hold study sessions and study groups. I have calls. We do conferences. We do a lot of things involving power, seduction, and strategy, human nature, mastery. We even study the 50th law in my Patreon group. All you got to do is go to Patreon and check me out at 15 moves ahead, and you can get this, what I'm about to talk about. The 48 laws of power in the 12 houses of the Zodiac, word for word. Introduction to 48 Laws of Power, a book by Robert Greene, outlines principles for navigating social dynamics and achieving power. On the other hand, the 12 houses of the zodiac and astrology represent different spheres of life. By combining these two frameworks, we can gain unique insights into each zodiac house. Below, we will explore the most relevant law of power to explain each of the 12 zodiac houses. Now, what I want to do is just show you how this is put together. And help you, you know, better gain an understanding of what I'm talking about. The first house, if you've ever had your birth chart done, natal chart done, zodiac chart done, I don't care if you believe in this stuff or not. You might be one of the people that tell me, oh man, you know, I'm not into the zodiac, but I'm into the Holy Bible. I got something for you. Hold up. Oh yeah. <laughs> this about to get very good. Check this out. Now. I'm only doing this for those who will try to make the assumption that, you know, they only want to, you know, talk about God, whatever power, like they're not into this. But let me just correlate the two in the Holy Bible, King James Version, right? The book of Job, chapter 38, verse 31 to 33, 31. Canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pleiades or loose the bands of Orion? Canst thou bring forth Maseroth in his season or canst thou guide Arcturus with his sons? Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Canst thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? Very simple. We know what the Pleiades is, the constellations. We know what Orion is. Okay, we know we've heard, seen plenty of video, documentary. We don't got to go into that. But let's talk about Maseroth. Because Maseroth is from the Hebrew word Masloth, which means 12 zodiac houses. Arcturus, Great Bear. Ursa Major, Ursa Minor. Do your research. Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and ordinance? Think about an ordinance. This is a rule, a law, a guide. This is something that must be followed. So this means, canst thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? That means there is a set ordinance. There is a set system that was created. Now, if you don't want to go by this, I'm just simply saying this for those people who comment to me on my other video I did where I was mentioning does God use the 48 laws of power and someone told me you cannot correlate the two. Well, there you go. Let's get back into it. Okay. So now, as I was just saying, right? So after seeing that we can actually combine this stuff, I just want you to understand that the first house of the Zodiac is the house of self. This is the house that deal with you as a person. This is who you are. This is the way you present yourself to the world. This is how you interact with the world. This house in the Zodiac describes your personality. This describes who you are aspiring to be. This one house, the house of self in the Zodiac. This is what this house is for. Now we take a law in the 48 laws of power. And that will be law 25, which is recreate yourself. 
Now, if you have studied this law, if you have, you know, dived into this law, then you understand that when you recreate yourself, you do not have to take the image that society says you have to be. You do not have to follow in the lines of what someone expect you to be. You can actually create yourself at any time you want. You don't have to continue down a certain road. You can actually stop. Now, the zodiacal house application. The first house represents the self-identity and appearance. By applying Law 25, one can understand the importance of crafting their persona and the impressions they make on others. So we have to study Law 25, and then we have to apply this with the first house of the Zodiac. Here's an example. A person with a strong first house presence decide to change their image by adopting new fashion styles and a new manner of speaking, thereby transforming how others perceive them and gaining newfound charisma and influence. This is so deep. This is so nice. You might have the first house and you may think that how you are right now today, that is how you are going to be. Well, guess what? Law 25 and the 48 say recreate yourself. And after learning how to recreate yourself, this means you are going to do new things. Like in this example, the person, they learn how to speak differently. They learn how to put on different clothes. They learn they may have even took up a whole different profession in order to present themselves differently to the world. And this is the power of this publication called the Esoteric Secrets of the 48 Laws of Power. I strategically took my time and I studied this. This is part of the reason you guys haven't saw me, but now I'm back and i'm on and i'm letting you know this type of information you have not seen you have not heard this is the first place you are getting this from and all you have to do to get the complete guide is go to my patreon 15 moves ahead and you can obtain this publication right here it's so simple once again the esoteric secrets of the 48 laws of power and with that being said, this is your boy 15 Moves Ahead. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, man. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for the support. As always, anytime you guys want to hit me up for a consultation, go to my website, www.15movesahead.com. You know, reach out to me via email, 15movesahead at gmail.com. Or go to the Patreon to get this fire. Esoteric Secrets of the 48 Laws of Power. <laughs> I promise your mind will be blown. I'm out.